Ladies and gentlemen of the press, uh, we are very pleased this afternoon uh, to report uh, to you and the entire country that the order that had been uh, initially given by court, uh, barring uh, uh, Paul Karongo Tangwa to run for Senate Kiambu County has just been lifted by a three-judge bench. We're very pleased um, because the court appreciates that uh, a final order cannot be made before parties have been heard. Uh, it was... Um, it was, of course, a very far-reaching order in the sense that it was taking away the right uh, of um, a citizen to run for political office uh, before the question of whether he should uh, be cleared by IBC or not is hardly determined. So we're very pleased because then IBC has been given the green light to process his papers, to clear him so that he can contest uh, the forthcoming election for Senate uh, Kiambu County. Of course, uh, we are all very gratified as his legal team, uh, together, of course, with the candidate, that uh, the court has underscored uh, the importance of the right to offer yourself for elective office, and that right cannot be uh, lightly taken away. So um, my cl our client is, of course, looking forward to appearing before the commission uh, as early as tomorrow to present his papers so that he can be cleared to run for Senate, uh, Kiambu County. Of course, the other issues uh, which are not relevant to this uh, um, session will be dealt with uh, in court. So we're very happy because uh, that obstacle that had been placed has been cleared by court. And we are very pleased because he's had his day in court. He has always been saying that uh, um, he needs to have his day in court so that he can be able to present his case to court and show the court and the whole world that indeed uh, he is uh, eligible to run for office. And we are glad that the court has uh, reinforced that and uh, has cleared our candidate uh, to run for office. Justice Anthony Murima, kumzuia mgombezi wa UDA na igombea kilicha useneta wa Kiambu umetupili wa mbali. Inamanisha kwamba yeye ako na haki ya kuenda katika msimamizi wa IBC katika county ya Kiambu na kuwakilisha makaratasi yake ili adhinishwe kuwa mgombezi wa UDA. La msingi ni hili. Mahaka memesema kwamba Tume ya IBC ndiyo iko na uwezo wa kusikiza maombi ya mgombezi yote ili aidhinishwe na imekosoa uamuzi uliotolewa hapo awali ambao ulikuwa una tatua zozo hili bila kuzingatia haki ya eh, seneta mtarajiwa Paul kusikizwa ni matarajio yetu kwamba tutakapowasili katika afisi ya msimamizi wa IBC e, atatizama makaratasi yetu na ataona ubora wa kumruhusu Paul Karugo agombe kiti cha useneta wa Kiambu katika tiketi ya UDA. Sisi kama wanachama wa UDA na kama mawakili wake tuna furaha kubwa sababu uamuzi wa yule ambaye atawakilisha watu wa Kiambu ni uamuzi wa watu wa Kiambu. Tusiwe E, watu wa kukaidi katiba kila mara kukimbia kotini kumzuia mtu ili hali walio na haki ya kutoa uamuzi huu ni watu wa kiambu ni hayo tu asante